our cedar page and I'm going to highlight tanks one, two, three, four, five. New software allows me to drag them around back and forth. So now we have to make sure we put product in each tank. So I can either shrink or expand each of these by touching the blank portion here. So we'll want to expand and select wheat for our tanks one, two, canola for tank three, wheat for tank four, and canola for tank five. There's a requested rate, 100, five, 105. I want to have a requested rate in there so we can verify operation after. Um, we're going to go to a calibration screen before we exit. So I'm going to turn these tanks off. Enter calibration. And we have to have a manual speed up in calibration. So I'm going to select 5 miles an hour as a manual speed for our multi-tank calibration. And I can touch on multi-tank calibration automatic calibration brings us to a wizard we're gonna see this like this we can either touch the virtual touch screen to turn an individual tanks on or the switch box in the cab or the switch box on the tank. So three different ways to turn on those switches to enter calibration. We're going to move over to um, our tank shortly. First we have to make sure we have oil running to the system. I'm going to power up the remote so I'm linked to the control for the valve. So I can divert oil to the conveyor, to the calibration circuit, or have the fans running. You notice on the monitor, RPM was climbing for fan one. Because it's noisy, we're gonna leave it off for now. But when you're out in the yard, we'd like you to test RPM for fans one and two. For right now, we're just going to go to fill cal. We can hear the oil running through the circuit. Now we've got oil diverted to our metering circuit. We're going to test the function of each tank to make sure each one is controlled by the switch box appropriately. So we've got tanks one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to engage the master. Now all of our tanks are turning. We're going to turn them off one at a time to verify that each one is controlled properly. Tank one. Tank two. Tank three, tank four, and finally tank five. We're going to verify our master. We'll turn one of the tanks on. Hit the master switch, verifying that it's controlling. Next, we want to look at our monitor. We had it running for a bit of time, so we're going to reset that. We can reset it here. We'll test that function here. To reset to start another calibration. We can turn our switches on in the tank. And five. Ready to go. Turn the master on. Now 
master off. Now we're going to want to verify that we can reset from the tank. There's a reset button on the tank. Press it till the green light came on. And our estimated weight should be gone. Strongly recommend playing around with this to help you get comfortable with calibration. Calibration is one of your most important functions and the more time you spend working with this, the easier it'll be. So we're going to exit this calibration.